A new plan by the police department in Dallas that city leaders are hoping will attract new recruits. They need more officers. Jack Fink on this for us over at Dallas City Hall with the plan. What are they going to do, Jack? Well, Doug, the Dallas Police Department says its new plan will give it flexibility in hiring officers without any sacrifices. We're not going to skimp on the quality. We want good quality officers out there. But finding good quality officers has become more challenging, not only for Dallas police, but departments nationwide. To make it easier to attract new recruits, DPD now proposes allowing anyone who has an active, valid Texas peace officer's license in lieu of 45 semester hours of college. Assistant Chief Angela Shaw says the new plan will help attract officers with less than three years' experience. They could be looking for other opportunities to become detectives a little faster, to promote faster, and sometimes in the smaller agencies you don't get that. Terrence Hopkins, president of the Black Police Association of Greater Dallas, agrees. I'm all for it, you know, with the shortages we have. We, we've got to come up with new ideas to get people through the door, and this is just, this can only help us. Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Casey Thomas says he's encouraged DPD is also working with some high schools to recruit future officers. Building that relationship at a young age uh, encourages more young people to want to go into law enforcement. During the last fiscal year, 241 officers left DPD. Of those, 76 had up to five years' experience while 119 had more than 20 years at the department. Records show DPD hired 199 new officers, short of its goal of 250, which is why police like the new plan. This is a big deal for the city of Dallas. We've never done this before. And Chief Shaw says her goal is to get this program up and running and graduate at least 25 new recruits during the next year. Today, the City Council's Public Safety Committee approved the plan, and the full City Council will consider it next month. Live at Dallas City Hall tonight, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack